heavily armed police officers, special forces, war veterans and members of a pro-Russian biker gang called the Night Wolves, among others, took part in a parade in the outskirts of Bosnian capital Sarajevo on Monday to celebrate the creation of Republika Srpska. January 9 is the anniversary of the 1992 declaration by Bosnian Serbs of their own state within Bosnia, which triggered a war that killed more than 100,000 people and left millions homeless. Celebration of the day is banned by Bosnia's top court, which says it discriminates against the country's other ethnic groups, Bosniaks and Croats. After the war in 1995, under the terms of the U.S. broker Dayton Peace Agreement, Serb-majority Republika Srpska became a semi-autonomous region. Its current president, Milorad Dodik, has long advocated for the separation of the mini-state from Bosnia and its union with Serbia. There should never be a Serb leader who would allow any other form of organization here other than Serb national state, which is called Republika Srpska. And with Serbia, we hold the right to be connected in accordance with international law. Long live Republika Srpska, long live Serbia, long live Serbian people. The high representative for Bosnia and Herzegovina, Christian Schmidt, who has the power to impose sanctions on behalf of the international community, warned of consequences for public officials taking part in the banned celebrations. And the US and EU warned Dodik that maintaining close ties with Putin and his calls for independence are pushing the country down a dangerous path. Siding with Putin under such circumstances isolates the Republika Srpska and its leadership internationally. There is no place in the European Union for decorating and awarding politicians who are ordering the destruction of a neighboring country and killing of its people. As the controversial military parade was taking place in the city's east, Central Sarajevo was hosting an exhibition of documents related to war crimes committed during the war organized by the Bosnian and Croat members of the country's presidency. I think finally the time has come to openly say to Dodik and his separatists that we will not give them anything because they already have too much. Dodik doesn't have the Yugoslav people's army and its arsenal behind him. It's not wise for him to induce a conflict in which there is a possibility of the disappearance of that what was created by committing genocide. As ethnic divisions simmer, Bosnia's greatest challenge is preventing history from repeating itself. Abdul Wahhabi UP, TRT World.